Kit and welcome back to Kit TV. Kit TV. <laughs> For today's video, I'll be sharing with you my simple filming makeup routine. Ito yung makeup ko every time na magfilm ako. As in, mabilis lang to. It's just a quick makeup routine that I do whenever I film. Paulit ulit, ano? Nag-explain ang bago bago. Wala man sabi. So ayun. Um, now I don't have anything on my face except. A lip balm on my face. And I'm using this Nivea Cherry Shine na lip balm. Ito siya. Ayan. I like this lip balm kasi wala siyang straight out na tint. Hindi niya makukolor yung lips mo. But, yung shine na mabibigay niya sa lips mo and moisture is one of the best things in the world. Ayun. Okay. So, tatanggalin ko lang yung aking glasses. So, this is me in my natural habitat. Hello, hello. The first step that I do is put the primer on or a makeup base. So, what I'm using on a daily basis is this Real Kill 9.9 .9 Sunblock with Makeup Base with 50 plus 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 SPF or PA plus plus plus. So, it's also a sunblock and a moisturizer and a makeup base in one. Sobrang okay nito kasi madali lang siyang mag-settle sa skin. Hindi tulad ng ibang sunblock na nagagamit ko. After mo siya i-blend sa skin mo, hindi siya kaagad nagsasettle. Diba? Medyo sticky pa. Ito okay to kasi madali siyang matuyo. And also, hindi rin siya nag-leave ng white cast sa face. Unlike most sunblock. Pag nilagay mo, di ba, pagka ano, may mga streaky na white sa face, no, ito wala. After that, I'll move on to my foundation and today I'll be using this Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony Miracle Foundation in the shade Golden 75 with SPF 20. So, ayan. Nilalagay ko lang siya usually at the back of my hand. Oh! Tapos, I'll be using this Morphe M439 to blend it on my skin. I blend it then sa neck ko para even yung skin tone. So, ayan. Tapos na ako with my foundation. As you can see, it is a shade lighter than my regular skin tone kasi I'm acidic. So, through time, nag-oxidize talaga yung most of my foundations. Usually, after ko i-blend yung foundation ko with a brush, gumagamit ako ng beauty blender to press it more sa skin ko para maiwasan yung streaks and all. And mas maganda yung finish na nang nangyayari pagka may ganitong ganap. Ayan. Here is my attempt to be a beauty guru. No? Pagbigyan nyo na. But this is just me trying to share with you my filming makeup routine. Okay. Hindi na ako masyadong gumagamit ng concealer sa under eyes ko. Kasi yung eyes ko, for some weird reason, hindi siya masyadong nagkakos ng eye bags or dark under eyes. So, ang main purpose lang sa akin ng concealer is to, um, to conceal imperfections like pimple marks. Yun, yun yung mga purpose lang. But for now, I'll be skipping concealer and then move on to setting my face with a powder. And for that, I'll be using this Rimmel Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. And I'll be using the shade Sandstorm 004. Ito siya. So, I'll just get a powder brush. Pinipress ko lang yung powder sa skin ko. I don't, you know, swirl it around my face. I just press it in. powder doesn't add any coverage. So, kung yung hinahanap nyo, eh, yung powder na makakapag-add pa ng coverage sa face nyo, then this is not the powder for you. But, it does the job in setting the foundation well. Ayun. Now that I'm done with the powder, magkikilay lang ako, and today I'll be using this Caroline Best Brow Liner in the shade to. This is my favorite. Gusto ko tong eyebrow liner na to because yung tip niya is angled. Hindi ko alam kung makikita nyo. Ayan. It's best for those who have sparse brows kasi hindi siya manipis and madali lang mag-fill in ng brows pag ganito yung mga gamit yung brow liner. So, I'm done with the brows and yes, hindi siya yung pinakamagandang brows na nagawa ko. But it's okay kasi wala na. Diyan na siya eh. Okay, ano natin siya ganyan. And... Kinakapalan ko 
talaga siya whenever I film kasi di ba may salamin ako. So, kinakapalan ko siya para hindi naman ako magbukang walang kilay pag nag-film. Ayan! So, ayun! So, now I'm done with my brows and I'll be setting it with the Caroline Brow Gel in the shade Coffee. Okay, now I'm done setting my brows in place. And ang alam ko, may isa pang shade si Caroline ng brow gel nila, which is chocolate. So, ayun, medyo brown yung shade doon. Ito kasi medyo dark brown. <laughs> so, yun. So, kung may lighter hair ka, I think it's best to use the chocolate one. Now naman, let's move on to bronzing my face. And I'll be using this Alexis Chen X Color Pop Press Powder Highlighter and Bronzer in the shade Topaz. So, ito siya. Ito siya. Gusto ko to kasi ang, ang convenient ng mirror nila. And ito yung dalawang pan. This one is the highlighter and this one is the bronzer. Sobrang important sa akin mag-bronzer kasi nga, di ba, acidic ako. So, so, sometimes using a lighter foundation does not give me any dimension at all. Yung face ko sobrang walang dimension. So, it's important for me to bronze kasi ayun, nababalik na yung dimension and at the same time, warmth ng aking Complexion. Char! Complexion says! Now that I'm done with bronzer, i-define ko lang ang aking non-existent cheekbones para mas mukhang define ang aking face. Char! Ang gagamitin ko is this BLK Contour Blush and Highlight Palette. This is their palette in flushed. Ito siya lang. Gagamitin ko itong contour shade. Ito siya. So, ayun. Yung ginamit kong bronzer kanina ay warm. So, using this somehow parang balances the warmth and the neutral side of my contour. I will use the same palette to contour my nose. Sis, kailangan natin yan. filming makeup routine, hindi ako masyadong precise mag-contour. Basta malagyan ko lang ng counting depth yung mukha ko. Okay na ako dun. After that, I'll move on to using a blush. At ang gagamitin ko ay this Hairline Oil Control Blush On in the shade Starlight Shine. And lately, super favorite ko to blush na to. And gagamit naman ako ng highlighter to highlight the high points of my face. And I'll be using this Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. Nawala na yung shade niya sa taas kasi sobrang gamit na gamit ko tong highlighter na to. So, ilalagay ko na lang yung shade nito sa description box below. But this is what it looks like. Rose gold siya and may flex siya ng gold. So, I like this highlighter a lot because sobrang bagay niya sa skin tone ko. This is the perfect highlight for my skin tone. And sobrang mura lang niya. So ayan, tapos na ako mag-highlighter. Ah, ang ganda talaga ng highlight na to. Oh my gosh! So ayan. So I'm almost done with my face. So balik naman tayo sa eyes. And to be honest, hindi talaga ako magaling sa eyeshadow. So, it's something that I really am considering to learn pa. But still, I wanted to give some dimension to my eyes. So, babalik lang tayo sa ginamit nating blush on kanina, which is the Starlight Shine. And ito na rin yung gagamitin ko to add some dimension to my eyes. So, ayan. Pero kaya hindi ako magaling sa eyeshadow because I don't have much space sa eyes ko to play around. Gagamitin ko yung highlighter na nandito sa palette na to as a highlight to my brow bone. Brow bone. I'm 
almost done with my eyes and gagamit na lang ako ng mascara from Essence. This is the Get Big Lashes Triple Black Mascara. I'm almost done with my makeup and to finish this look, I'll be using this Sleek Matte Me Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. Again, wala na naman yung shade because lagi ko tong ginagamit. As in, lagi ko talaga tong ginagamit. But don't worry because I'll put it in the description box. So, ayan. And to finally set my makeup, I'll be using this Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. After ko siya spray pinapress ko yung mists sa skin ko using a beauty blender. That is it guys for my simple filming makeup routine. This is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm not a beauty guru, so... <laughs> and again, if you have any questions, don't forget to tweet it to me with the hashtag AskKit. And also, don't forget to follow me on all my social media accounts. Ito sila. Ito, ito, ito. Until then, see you on my next one. Bye!